we are going into a more automatized or, or one entity industry kind of way, uh, what we call um, um, smart industry today. So Hansel, today we're we'll talking about the fourth industrial revolution. So first of all, what is the fourth industrial revolution? The fourth industrial revolution coming to the third one, we need to understand the third to, to, to get to the fourth. Uh, the third industrial revolution happened in 1970s uh, when uh, electronics were brought into the industry in order to manage the machines. Years later, we understood that was not enough and that we needed more and CPS systems came in, in, into the market. CPS for cyber physical systems. Cyber physical, physical systems, sorry, is uh, our robotics in some kind of way, but also the ability to um, connect the machines together in order to have one only entity. In that way, we're able to monitor this entity, we're able to adapt to different uh, things that may happen into the market, production, else, etc. So we are going into a more automatized or, or one entity industry kind of way, uh, what we call um, um, smart industry today. And you're absolutely right that technology has advanced massively in recent years and it is the fourth industrial revolution is the perfect way to put it. But what does this mean for businesses and global economies, this massive surge in, in smart industries? Well, it means a lot. It first of all, in terms of process, uh, you can uh, you are able today to to allow uh, traceability, bottom to end. You are able also to uh, get uh, things like Nikki uh, into place or one to one time, uh, which are protocols that are needed in the industry. Other uh, another factor is definitely the ability to reduce costs due to the fact that we are able to adapt the um, production, uh, for example, in order to cope with the orders and not to have stocks into place as one uh, could have before. Uh, last but not least is the ability to monitor uh, the, the in a single pane of glass the production and therefore able to, being able to solve a problem before even it, before it even appears uh, in, uh, in, in the machines. So that definitely saves a lot of time and makes the industry much more reliable and productive. So we've seen this advancements, but what does it take for businesses and global economies to take this in their stride and take this smart revolution? We have defined four steps into doing this. The first step is to have the information. Before I explained, the machines were had, had some uh, electronics into it, although we're not gathering the data. Today we are. We're also adding IoT, which means interconnected uh, uh, piece of uh, material that allows to us to have all the information for out of it and then gather that information to get to the second step, which is analyzing it, understanding what is happening. And then to the third one, which is to prevent, is to decide what could happen and what will happen and therefore act before it happens. The last one being artificial intelligence, some companies are getting there, but very few yet, which is to the ability to act on the industry and therefore to make sure that whatever happens is already understood by the machine and therefore act upon and even uh, being able to react prior to any uh, other, or other things happening in the, in the market, uh, analyzing data coming from the market directly then. Fantastic. And quickly, finally, so how quickly do you see this all taking place? You've mentioned... Well, it has already started a uh, very long ago and um, it started in 2011 uh, in Hanover, Mies. It was the first time it actually was taken out by a German uh, group of uh, scientists. We have been working in the third revolution uh, with, a, with our sister company, Eptacom, for many years. Uh, Eptago is an IT company we're bringing our knowledge together in order to, to step out to the fourth revolution and we're definitely making a success there. Uh, it's at the end quite easy when you bring IT and knowledge of IT with the knowledge of operations and we have that both, we have both. So that definitely is a chance. Fantastic, well thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights. Thank you. Well, that's all from us here in the Geneva Studios, but we want to hear how you found this interview, so please do like and comment on dukascopy.tv.